In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a new add-on that will make your models a lot more realistic, especially if you are modeling organic stuff like rocks, cliffs, old buildings, and pillars. Today we have a great add-on from one of the favorite Blender creators, Default Cube and CG Matter on YouTube, and the add-on is called Rodit. This add-on will allow you to procedurally add surface imperfections to your models. To be frank, I was surprised that the add-on even has a really simple interface. So CG Matter on YouTube has been pumping geometry nodes tutorials left and right, and he has been doing this like it is nobody's business. So a geometry-based node add-on is not out of the ordinary. It even provides a free version for you to try the effect for yourself. However, you will be limited to only applying the effect. So to be able to further control the effect or use any other parameter that the add-on provides, you will have to buy the full version, which is not crazy these days. And what you will get here is a lot of controls. So we're gonna take a look at the interface and its functionality. The interface is divided into basically a few buttons. From the top, there is a checkbox labeled Add Bevel Modifier. This one applies a randomized bevel before adding the erosion so your edges are nice and beveled. Right under that, you have the eroded button. This button will apply the modifier with tons of controls which will allow you to control things like detail level, erosion properties, smoothing, resolution, and my favorite cut to the model where you can apply deep cuts to your model which looks awesome. The apply button will apply the effect and finally this handy button called copy erosion will help you copy the erosion settings from the active object to the selected object. This works with multiple objects as well, so you don't have to apply the same effect every time on every object, which is really helpful. However, from what I can see, I feel like this effect will be a big hit to your viewport performance, especially if you crank up the resolution and the details, so keeping everything on the low until the final render will be recommended. And that's about it. It is a very simple and straightforward add-on that does exactly what it promises on the box. And you don't need to fit it around with a no tree, but if you want to go deeper, you can absolutely do that. So what are you waiting for? Go grab a copy for yourself and see what it can do. And you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with Blender news and the CG industry in general. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.